took time out of your morning to attend. Um, I just want to take a minute or two of your time. So I just want to thank GS Communications for having us today, one of our fellow members. And I just want to explain that Eport Carolina produces events and recognized organizations with two objectives, to inform our members of opportunities to develop new skills in which we pursue opportunity, and to connect members with each other with whom to collaborate and pursue new opportunities. Since 1983, Sunmark has been helping sales and marketing pros like you achieve your career goals. A small but agile team of brand stewards and seasoned designers, Sunmark has the deep experience and resources to help you address your marketing challenges. Firms large and small, Global manufacturers, trade associations, startups, all have trusted Cellmark to strengthen their brands and expand their businesses. No contracts, no retainers, just agency excellence without the attitude. From projects to programs, we'll maintain your brand integrity while delivering services for which you may lack the time, expertise, resources, or desire to do internally. Contact us today and let's get started on your next marketing project. How are you this morning? It's a beautiful day in Raleigh. I'm so happy to be here. You know, issues, risk, reputational threats, crises, they're happening at the speed of a tweet these days. And C4CS was created about 20 years ago now in Charlotte to provide expert consulting and training to clients facing all of those issues and risks that are burgeoning these days. We are very focused on the global marketplace as well as nuclear especially. We have some wonderful client partners. We call them client partners because we feel like working together is the only way to achieve success. So we establish really long solid relationships with the people we work for. Our expertise lies in crisis planning, preparedness, management and response. I come from the journalism background and especially broadcast journalism. So I kind of bring that perspective of being on the other side of the, the microphone or the camera, if you will, to clients and help them understand the media, how it works, how their reputation is critical to any success that they hope to achieve and how quickly it can be damaged. We all know what Mr. Buffett said, right? He said something about 15 minutes, it's more like, you know, five seconds with a tweet where your reputation can be damaged after building it for years and years and years. So we love working with people from that perspective of bringing our expertise. The managing partner is in Pittsburgh. Our two main offices are in Charlotte and Pittsburgh. And he is from Berlin. So again, we have an affinity for, for German companies especially. But we have, uh, we have team members in Berlin and throughout the, the North American uh, marketplace as well to serve clients. But our, um, our goal is just to help people understand the power of strategic communication to help them be successful. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, and we've been a member of E4 for just over a year and we're very happy. <laughs> I talk about this a lot with brands when they first come to us and they say, we want to tell a story. We want, to, we want to let somebody know that we're making this new widget. And typically, they walk into a room with a creative brief or a stack of papers or you know, 15 people, and they say, okay, here's everything we know about our, our product that we want to offer. And what I have to back people up on is say, okay, okay, we're making a wedding cake right now. And making a wedding cake is totally valuable. It's, it's an absolutely valid thing to be doing. Let's get down, let's talk about what that cake should look like, give you something to pick from, it's gonna take a while. What, what do you want on the inside? What do you want on the outside? What's on the top? What does the frosting look around the edges? A lot of work, a lot of judgment. And when you're done, what an achievement. God, that was a lot of work. We spent a lot of time making this thing, and you've made one. And then you just hope everybody enjoys it and everybody remembers it forever. But these days, maybe, maybe not. What's happening in the world of comms and the world of marketing is people have really latched onto the idea of cupcakes are valuable too. Cupcakes are smaller. They're achievable. You can make lots of different flavors. You can do them in batches. Same thing with content. Same thing with creative. Same thing with everything we do. Everything doesn't have to be the white paper. Everything doesn't have to be an encyclopedia. You can make small pieces of content from those large pieces of content at a steady pace. Another way to put it, content creator I worked with a lot uh, over the years, 
don't tell me how you can make one great thing for me. Tell me how you can make 500 content at scale. So you want to come up with a great idea, but at the same time, you want to be able to replicate it. You want to be able to put a formula around it so everybody can get on board and everybody can contribute. And then they feel engaged and they feel like they're part of the story. And the simpler it is, the better it is on the end. Because now you're creating consistency in whatever channel you're in. People are seeing this content over and over and over. They're enjoying it. You know it's working. And at that steady pace, that's where you're going to see the good results. The one at a time, the big moments, you're hoping for the best. And in the end, getting ahead of it and promoting that one-time event, absolutely, you should be doing that. But even in that promotion, that's going to take 500 pieces of activity. So in the end, whatever story you're telling, the more you can think of it in terms of what are our cupcakes? What are the small bits we're going to make along the way that feed people that lead up to the giant wedding cake event or the giant wedding cake opportunity? Uh, those are going to be the brains that people have. Hi, Dr. Charlotte Business Journal. Hi. My primary beat is the energy industry. Um, when I first took the beat, it was we thought of it as the utility um, industry, uh, utility beat. Uh, we had Duke Energy uh, base there, and we had Piedmont Natural Gas, and people always wanted to know about cable vision and all that sort of stuff. Uh, but telephones, cable vision aren't so important anymore, and we began to realize. I started this. I started on this beat in 2004, and uh, we began seeing that the industry was uh, moving significantly in Charlotte and also in North Carolina. We focus on Charlotte a lot, and so we, we broadened it out uh, to try and you know look at what else was going on. We had Siemens moving in with a major. So what story, like right now, what, what stories have traction with you? Well, obviously renewables. Anything anything to do with renewables, clean energy, which isn't always the same as renewables. And I have to remember that. And if, if you if you guys help me remember that, that, that you know, uh, maybe we can uh, do some work together. A lot of times it can seem like your job is to, to protect people from people like me. And a lot of times it will be. And that's understandable. <laughs> You got to do what you got to do. But, um, you know, I'm like I'm always interested in talking to a CEO, but I can't talk to a CEO every day, and they don't have to be your only spokesman. Um, uh, I, and Duke Energy, there's a guy, and I've got his name here. It's Lang Reynolds. He's their expert on uh, electric vehicles. Uh, almost any time I'm doing a story on electric vehicles. Uh, I, I want to touch base with Ryan somewhere along the line in that, you know, and he becomes somebody who my readers and thus people that you're trying to reach associate in a positive way, generally, <laughs> um, with with electric vehicles. Um, and, and that kind of thing, uh, Vorber was a, another example of that, it, but people become experts. Uh, a guy named Jim Holscher at um, Parker Hannafin. These people become experts to the community, or LSIS now, but they become experts to the community. And that's what they're up to. Um, you know, we not only do that something with many of those people, we will end up doing not just the what are they up to story, but you asked, you know, when I got up here, how did you get into this? That's almost always an interesting question. And at some point, people who are experts in these areas, we become interested in, in, in that question. So that's an important thing, I think, to remember. You, you mentioned before about who's your spokesman. And, and obviously, you're always looking for your big spokesman. But remember to think further down, I think, the organization. Because those are the people, you know, those are the people, for one thing, who can sort of speak what's on their mind a little bit more than a CEO can. You know, they can talk about the problem they're trying to solve that that day. You know, um, it just makes for a much more interesting, and it makes for a great interview and, and more interesting story.